How's it going everybody? Chase here. And today I'll be reviewing the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Evolve Super Saiyan Trunks figure. Now this was a Christmas gift this year. I've been wanting to do a review on it but I haven't been able to because my tripod broke. So I've been working to get a new one or fix the old one. Finally got it fixed. But this is one of my most anticipated figures of 2021. I remember when I saw the picture, the promotional picture on, I think it was Toy Biz or something like that, or Toy Wiz, a couple of months ago. I ended up picking up the Gogeta, but I really wanted Trunks after getting a hold of Gogeta. Now, Trunks is actually one of the, in my opinion, one of the best figures of 2021, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Starting off with the pox, you get a cool picture of Trunks and Super Saiyan. Now this is the Dragon Ball Super version, it's not the Z version. Super Saiyan Trunks on the side. And on the back, it's got Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which I've already done a review on, and Super Saiyan Trunks. Now this was a pretty good lineup. I mean, I loved these two because they were brand new sculpts, but this is a reuse of the Ultra Instinct Silver Hair Goku or the Mastered Ultra Instinct. But that's pretty much it for the box. It just says Dragon Ball Evolve and Bandai Dragon Ball Super up here. But we're here for the figure. And here he is. Taking a look at the sculpt real quick, a very good face sculpt, looks just like Trunks does, kind of metallic or glossy um, Super Saiyan hair, he's got his bandana, he's got the Capsule Corp logo, he's got his sword. You go down lower, he's got a little bit of battle damage right here. And kind of weird, just feels out of place, but avocado or guacamole green uh, boots with black or gray tips that match the pants. And now we're going to take a look at the accessories. He comes with his sword, the sword he got from Tapion. Trying to get it to focus. It's kind of bland, but it's got green, green kind of um, wrapping around the handle but it's very flexible it's it's kind of annoying because when you take it out of the box it's already it's tucked inside of the scabbard so it gets kind of warped and when you take it out you're definitely going to get like some scuffs of paint chipping off right there which it's kind of annoying but it's a ten dollar figure so it's tolerable. And he has one more accessory. If you take off the head, his bandana can come off. And it's just a sculpted red piece of plastic. Not much to really say. But you can pop the head back on and you've got him where he's just wearing his denim jacket, which is... Pretty cool, because that's kind of a throwback to Z. Where he wore the denim jacket. But now we're going to take a look at articulation. I'm going to put this back on. He's got a ball joint in the head, which lets him look that far to the right, that far to the left, down, up. 
He's got a diaphragm joint that lets him look down pretty good. I've heard of a lot of people saying that theirs breaks off at the hip. He can look back pretty good. Ball joint in the shoulder, which lets you go up that much. But it kind of has a butterfly joint where it can kind of push forward or push back. Goes up about that high. Single jointed elbows. Single jointed wrist. But it's a peg that you can just pop in and out. kind of I forgot what the name of this type of leg articulation is but he can kick up that high and kick back pretty good single jointed knees and hinges at the artic I mean at the ankles and a little bit of ankle pivot now I'm gonna put this guy in a few poses just to show off how cool he is. You can get him in the classic screaming power up pose. Which looks kind of good even though it doesn't have the screaming face. You can get him to hold the sword. And yes, he can hold the sword with both hands. You just kind of have to work with the hand to get it to loosen up. But there we go. And get him to hold it. Looks pretty good. You can get him to hold the sword while it's in the scabbard. Looks pretty good. Just a very dynamic figure. The way I usually have him posed is it's kind of hard to pull it off, but if you can, it looks pretty good. And that's it's where you tilt the sword down. I'm not going to be able to do it. But you can get him in to where he can block with the sword, kind of like this. And get him to block with it. Looks pretty good. But that's pretty much going to do it for my review of the Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Evolve trunks. This is a very cool figure that I highly recommend if you can find one. For $10 you get pretty close to Figuarts quality. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider liking, consider subscribing to my channel. I upload almost daily. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.